For the 16th of August, it's always going to be a somber day in South Africa. Eleven years ago, 34 striking miners gunned down police. In the run-up to the massacre, 10 people had been killed in the Wildcat strike. But the events on this day, the 16th, which saw police open fire on two different scenes on strikers, it shook the world. Let's bring in Henry Mamotame. He's the spokesperson for the Northwest Province, uh, the Na uh, Northwest Province National Prosecuting Authority. He's going to talk about prosecutions. Uh, so good evening. Um, you know, if we if we listen to, to what has been said about they, that day, police knew it was going to be a violent day. They'd ordered more mortuary vans to come to the scene. Uh, they'd ordered live ammunition. And they'd even spoken to journalists saying this ends today. So I'm wondering why with that context, uh, we haven't actually had any prosecutions to date. What's happened? Well, p p putting it into context, um, it's it's really not correct to push a narrative that from the NPS side, nothing has happened in as far as the Americana matters are concerned. We have other matters sitting before us, cases preceding the death that occurred before the actual day that we are all referring to, which is on the 16th of August. Um, we have cases that were enrolled with us uh, following recommendations by the Salem Commission that where possible, where there's evidence, uh, the, 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 the prosecution and uh, the enforcement uh, agencies, they should start with uh, instituting criminal proceedings. You know, And we did just that. Mm -hmm. We had a case whereby we have a case for court which was enrolled where the deputy police commissioner, together with five other senior police officers, are facing charges of murder uh, regarding five, I mean, two police officers and three civilians or minors, if you like. And that matter is still before court. Mm. And in as far as the matter regarding the 34 minors who were gunned down on the 16th of August, putting it into context again, this case was initially transferred to the national office you know, for prosecution. Yeah. And that is owed to the fact that at that time, the entire National Prosecuting Authority, all divisions, there was a challenge of vacancies uh, that were not filled. And the Northwest was not peculiar to that, you know. It had the similar, similar challenges. However, following the filling of posts and the availability of resources to fill up these posts, all of these uh, high-profile cases we're taking back to all divisions, including the Northwest. And Marikana was one of those uh, high profile cases that were returned back to, to, to where it belongs. Now, what the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions did to ensure that this matter is given the necessary attention it deserves, she assembled a team led by one of her deputies in the province. Uh, with other senior state advocates to really study this humongous docket, you know, to fast track the process of ensuring that we reach a decision in taking action on this matter. Look, I understand, and, and I mean, it sounds, I read about the fact that it was passed from one, you know, the, the provincial division of the NPA to the national and then back again. And yes, we understand uh, that there were capacity issues. Um, it sounds to me a little like no one really wanted to handle it because it was a bit of a hot potato as well. But we're talking 11 years here. Now, I understand what you said about progress being made in some of the violent incidents that happened in the run up to this day. But I think. When it comes to looking at what happened on this day, there were television cameras trained live onto this event. Um, we also know from the Farland Commission that what happened at scene one was, was, you know, there was a sense that maybe the police really did feel under threat. But what happened at scene one, very different to what happened at scene two. First of all, uh, and David Bruce speaks about this in his book, uh, the shooting at scene two went on for half an hour. Also, police were found by the Fallen Commission to have tried to conceal what happened at scene two, where more people died. How difficult has it been for the NPA to get, and I understand you are now at the point, where you can start perhaps charging police officers? Well, we, we can't say we're at the point of now charging these uh, police officers. 
Remember, we still have to have thorough consultations with IPED in regard to the evidence that they have gathered. And we should also be mindful of the fact that it took a while for them to gather such evidence. Now, having been given a docket in any criminal matter, you don't just say because the docket has been handed over to the NPA, now the matter is ready to go for trial. You need to engage with the docket. You need to study it thorough, check all the evidence before you, before you can take any action. So that process has been undertaken, and there's commitment, you know, to move and fast check that process, you know, to ensure that we bring this matter to finality. Talk me through the process. Now, IPED, of course, is the police watchdog. When any member of the police is perceived to have done something criminal, they obviously have to investigate. But that doesn't stop, um, you know, the normal criminal process, or, or is it completely in the realm of IPED, and then they hand over to you? Talk to me about the process. That's exactly, you've summarized it correctly, because the police can investigate themselves. Yeah. That is the responsibility of IPED. So they have to investigate every detail that has to do with that incident and come to us, you know, so that we can guide these investigations further. You know, where we see mm. loopholes, that's the engagement, that's the, that's the studying of the docket that I'm referring to. It has to be thorough, you know, so that when it gets to court, it must pass the test of time. You know, we don't just enroll matters because there's treasure to do so. We need to ensure that we do a thorough look to, to this matter. So then let me ask you this. Have you asked the IPED um, police watchdog tasked with getting the evidence on what happened on this day, have you asked them why it's taken them so darn long? I think they're in a better position to respond to that. No, I, was, I was asking if you have asked them. Have you expressed frustration at how long okay. it's taken them? IPED doesn't report to, to the NPA. But they hand you know, over their information. They, yes, they do. Mm. They do. And whatever information they've handed up to, to us, including the two cases that I've, I've referred to, we looked at those dockets and we were happy that we can enroll these two matters, the other two matters that I referred to. No, the sure. one referring to the body in the center, uh, where a minor was, was found in a police van uh, being shot, you know, with a gunshot wound. And the other matter where two police officers and three minors were died due to a confrontation between the police and the minors. So we have to do due diligence on every matter that comes before us, before we can even enroll the matter before court. So I the understand. challenges that are faced by the police or whoever else is, is responsible for investigating matters doesn't lie solemnly on us. But no, when no. the docket is brought to us mm. to engage, we will always do a so, thorough job before so, we... So can decide I to hear take you. The to I court. understand that it's in IPED's hands still. Have they given you enough at this point to start moving forward substantially with prosecutions potentially against police officers who opened fire on that day? That determination will only be done when the matter, when the engagement with the docket is completed. How and long we will, will that definitely, take? You think? Well, it's still early for us to to say. We don't want to put ourselves under pressure, but we can assure you that uh, there is a manpower to handle the case, and we are committed to completing it as soon as possible, but with due diligence being done to it. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Henry. Mamo Tame, spokesperson for the Northwest Province NPA. Well, they have the docket from Police Watchdog. IPED and they of course now have to go through that docket and decide who, if anyone, uh, from that specific day. Yes, we understand there have been other matters that have been dealt with, but specifically on what happened that day, those images we saw of our police opening fire on striking workers and killing them. That's what we want to see. That's what we want answers for. Uh, because it's not easy to forget of those images, nor should it be forgotten. Do stay with us. Plenty